حسبنا الله ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم تاريكة نصوبة في الحير من جميع Let's renew our shahadat. Saying, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We begin with that. Are you going to take any benefit from this? Can anyone say to me right now what we just did, what I just make you to do, you and myself, is not giving anything to you? Say. That is shahadat. The whole sohbat is to reaffirm that shahadat. It is to understand that the angel of death, it is real. Deaths, we have witnessed every single day. People that we've seen, people that are close to us in our families, people that we don't expect them to go. We did not expect our Sheikh to go. They pass. What makes us to be exception? What makes us to be exception that we say we don't need to be reminded of our Shahadat? of our promise to our Lord. Only the ego is not liking it. It's saying, I want my shahadat, but on my own terms. I want the shahadat the way that I believe. Not the way that the Jamaat believes. How many times we hear Shaykh and he says, Allah's order be Jamaat. That it is Allah's holy name, Jami. Ya Jami. This tariqat is built on the Sohbat. If you cannot be in Jamaat during the Sohbat, then outside of it, there's a huge question mark whether it is a real Jamaat. Or are we still doing things for our ego? Or for our own benefit, for our own selves, not for the sake of Allah. How many times we hear Shaykh Afandi saying this, riwayat? Do you know what riwayat means? How many times do you see me, hear me say this? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala questioned Musa alayhi salam, Ya Musa, what have you done for me? What have you done for my sake? And Musa alayhi salam saying, I pray, Ya Rabbi, I fast, I give zakat. I go to the hajj. The meaning is, I do everything. And Allah is saying, that is all for you, Ya Musa. That is all for you. It's not for me. The shahadat, it is for you. The prayers, it is for you. A fasting, it is for you. Zakat and the hajj, all the blessing that comes, it is for you. It is not for me. What have you done for me? What can you do for my sake? Musa alayhi salam, he could not answer. Kalimullah, you understanding Kalimullah? And how many times we have heard. Maybe you have heard, but I'm here to remind you. Allah saying, love those I love and leave those that I leave. Word is hate. But we may say leave because Shaykh Fendi said that. How are we loving those that Allah love?
with what? How we loving those that Allah loves. And how many times we hear Shaykh and he's saying, be with the Jama'at, the order is be with the Jama'at, be with the Salihin. What happens when you are with the Salihin? What happens when you fulfill that order that Allah is giving an order in the Holy Quran? Be with the Salihin. You're going to lose or you're not going to take benefit. If you believe that this is the company of the Salihin, definitely not me. But maybe there are some other people here hidden that they are. At least this is Sheriff and his association. Then how are you not taking benefit? So how are you going to love those that Allah loves? What do you do when you love someone? The khutbah is talking about what? The three things. When you give a bayat. It is obedience, a submission and muhabbat. That is how you're going to serve. And whatever that is important, important in that one's eyes. And the most important thing in this way, it is sohbet. Because his tariqat is based on that. The power of that shahadat will make us to become clean again. The power of that shahadat has enough value and benefit to take us clean from this world when the angel of death comes to us right away. The power of the shahadat is going to make a big protection against to ourselves and the fire that we make inside of us and the fire that is outside. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has appointed Sultan al-Awliya who has appointed our Shaykh to be on top of us. He took us out from every kind of jungle that we came from. And he has cleaned us up. Everyone should remember those days. And everyone should remember those days who else were around when you're coming out from that mess? Who else that our Shah has supported and appointed that also helped you along this way? Who has taught you that shahadat? Who has taught you how to pray and how to think? Later you may grow up to say, I don't need it anymore. You may. But if the order comes, as murids, as believers, we say what? We hear and we obey. <coughs> Inshallah, Rahman. These words are for me and for you. Anyone who's understanding, you're going to take some benefit from it, definitely. Anyone who's not understanding, it doesn't matter. Forty prophets can come down to speak. It is not going to make any difference. May Allah forgive me and bless you. Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum.